All right, guys, I am here to show you a couple throwers with different colored emitters. So the goal for this video is to show you how the different color of emitter will create or avoid backscatter. Now, the reason we care about this is because it affects two things about the light. One is more backscatter means less light getting to its target, so less throw. But here's the other side of it. Backscatter is super, super exciting, right? You get this really solid beam and, and people that don't know flashlights will see this really bright beam and just go, wow. So let's, let's start with a K1W1 white, just as a kind of a control, because we all kind of know what these white throwers look like. So let me, uh, there's the white thrower. That right there is about, uh, I'm on a telephoto lens. That's actually about 10 meters in front of me. Uh, let me go to turbo here and then go all the way out to those uh, blue crates in the middle of this field. Um, that is about 100 meters away, believe it or not. And then all the way out to that tower. See that water tower? That is one kilometer on the nose. I've measured it. One kilometer from where I'm standing. Okay, so this is a white K1W1 or what uh, Hank calls a W2.1. All right, so there you go. That's a good control. All right, next up, let's do a Convoy C8 Plus W1 green emitter this time. So here we are about 10 meters in the foreground down to those crates. It's about 100 meters away and then out to that tower. There you go. Now let's do that side by side. This beam shot here up in the air with the W1 from the K1. So the green has a little more beam backscatter. So it's a little more impressive the green is. Um, but I mean, it's not that different. All right, now let's go the other direction. Let's take a look at a red emitter. This time it's gonna be a red SBT 90.2, which is a beast of emitter, but red just doesn't have the backscatter you would expect of the blue. So here we go. Let's go to turbo. This is in a KR1 host, but this is, so it's a smaller reflector, but it's also a much bigger emitter. So it's much broader beam. But still, when I hit those uh, crates on the middle field, you can just barely see them. And that's probably the nature of it just being red as well. I'm on turbo and I'm on the tower and I, I, can't, I can't detect that this light is on the tower at all. I just don't see it over there. But more interesting is I'm now holding it underneath the camera. I'm going up into the air and I just don't really see the beam on the camera. So here's the white for comparison. Here is the red right next to it. I just, I mean, every now and then I can see a particle that catches it. But I mean, here I'll hold it down here so you can make sure, so you can tell that I definitely have it on. Well, that's that's the way it is. Red beams are just kind of invisible. All right, next up we got a K1 again. This time it's gonna be a W2 blue. So there it is in the foreground here on turbo. At the 10 meter mark, let's go out to those crates. That's about 100 meters away. And then let's go out to that uh, tower. It is definitely illuminating that tower. Um, but moreover, that beam is just a monster. Here's the K1W1 next to it. You can see how much brighter that beam is. It's just so prominent. So it's very, very fancy looking. Very impressive. Okay, now let's, let's do the D18 populated with W1s that are blue. Just a flutter, but you know, let's see what it's like. So let's bring up the K1 W2 blue on the left, and then let's do the D18 on the right. That's, there we go, that's turbo. And you can see it's looming the field, but more importantly, if I go up in the air here, you can see how it's just kind of a, a wall of blue light. So definitely not as concentrated as the K1, but let me turn the K1 off. So that's really impressive. I mean, whether the beam's actually going any farther than if it was a white light, it just has such a wow factor that you see the beam coming out of it like a giant lightsaber. So that, I guess that's the benefit of going to a cooler emitter is that you just see the uh, light emanating from the flashlight and it looks like a monster.